Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim. Today I am looking at every chicken tramper accessory. I first heard of Chicken Tramper when I was on a backpacking trip with some YouTube buddies in the Red River Gorge in Kentucky. My friend John Kelly was rocking this cool looking backpack and we had a good time talking shop and having a look at his backpack. Well, recently Chicken Tramper reached out to me and asked if I would have a look at some of their accessories. So I went to their website and I was looking through their various pouches and packs and couldn't really pick a single thing that I really thought would be good for a review. So I said, hey, why don't you just send me one of everything? I kind of meant it as a joke, but they did it. In total, I received a sealed wallet, a large phone pocket, a large chest pocket, a 0.7 liter water bottle sleeve, a 1 liter water bottle sleeve, a 1 liter fanny pack, a 2.5 liter fanny pack, and a 4 liter fanny pack. Now, of course, it would be ridiculous to use all of these accessories on a single hike, so that's exactly what I did. Now, so far, not all of this gear has made it into my regular rotation, but some of it has, and I really like all of it. It's just that I don't necessarily carry some of my gear the way it's meant to be carried in these kinds of accessories, but all of them have turned out to be pretty darn good. So I'm just going to go through each one, give you my thoughts on it, give you some stats, and then if any of those items interest you, you can look in the description below, click on those links, and it'll take you right to Chicken Tramper's website where you can pick out your gear and also look at some of the customization features that they have for you. First of all, let's talk about their wallet. I use these kinds of ultralight wallets. I've picked them up from various places. A couple of things stood out to me on the Chicken Tramper version. Number one, you can get this in a sealed X-Pack, which makes it very water resistant. Second, I like the fact that there are these small pieces of strapping that you can get a carabiner through that doesn't make you have to use the zipper pull tab. And this wallet is a very good size. It's a little bigger than the ones that I have usually used, and that allows me to get a little bit more into it and also doesn't make it as difficult to get things in and out. If you get the regular stitched version, it's a 5.5 by 3.75 inch wallet. If you get the sealed seamed version, it's 5.25 inches by 3.5. The weight of this wallet comes in at 0.3 ounces. Next, I'm going to show you the chest pocket. I got the large one because I just wanted to see how big the big one was, and it's really not overwhelming in size. I have had great use of this for my electronics. And part of the reason I like keeping my electronics in here is because this is a water-resistant pouch. It's got a sealed zipper, seam sealed inside, X-Pack material that sheds water, and when this is closed up, I can verify that water does not get in it very easily. On the front, you also have a little stretch mesh for getting to things quickly. Now, one of the most interesting thing about these Chicken Tramper accessories is how they attach to the pack. At the top, you have your pretty standard little S-clip. This is going to go really well through daisy chain webbing, but there's also other ways you can attach it if you need to. One of the things I really like about these is that they actually have an S-clip on the bottom as well, and the webbing in between is adjustable. And what that means is that if you have a pack that isn't really perfectly configured with a daisy chain right exactly where you want it, you're able to adjust this up and down and adjust the size of the connection points so that they fit your pack. In most backpacks, I've found that the straps are folded over at the end and sewn shut to keep them from easily coming apart, which is a nice feature, but if you do need them to come apart, they can be a real pain. That method of attachment is fine as long as it's not too difficult to get your shoulder straps taken apart, but on many of my packs, it really is. So to put these on, you simply find the place in the pack, which practically all of them have, where some strap, even if it's the load lifters or something, come in. You snap the S-clip onto that, and then you just find the closest corresponding strap, even if it's the connection strap at the bottom of the shoulder straps, and you can get the pouch on there with the other S-clip. The large version of the chest pocket comes in at 1.6 ounces. Now, you could actually fit a full-size phone inside the chest pocket. However, Chicken Tramper does make an accessory that is specifically made to hold your phone, and it's got some special features that you might like, and that's especially true if your phone is already covered in a case that's going to keep it from getting wet. First of all, the phone pocket has a Velcro enclosure on the top that is open. This is not at all a weatherproof pouch. So, you open it up, phone slides in there. 
So far, so good. However, one of the neat features of this is this little piece of Velcro on the back. What is that for? Well, if you have a phone with headphones attached, you can put it in with the headphones sticking out, and there's a little strap inside here that will go over the top and connect on the Velcro so that you have space for your wires. What about this thing? Well, this tucks in. So you can put it in, put the strap over, the phone still won't come out, and yet it is open at the top so that wherever your headphones attach, the cord can come out. Now, you might not use wired headphones anymore, but you might be wanting to charge the phone. If you've got a charger cable going to the phone, there's enough room, at least with mine, to put them in the same pouch. You've also got the stretch mesh on the front and the same kind of dual S-clip adjustable strap that attaches it to your pack. The large version of the phone pocket comes in at 1.5 ounces. One of the things that I like about the Chicken Tramper accessories is that they do come in a multitude of different colors, so you can really get your pouch system worked out. You can organize it by color if that helps you, or you can just get colors that you like. All right, let's move on to the water bottle pouches. This is the full one liter smart water bottle sized Chicken Tramper water bottle accessory. You wouldn't think that there would be that many different ways you can make a water bottle pouch, but there actually are. So for example, this is a material top with some elastic cordage inside. So you can actually cinch this thing down to be as tight or as loose as you want. When the cordage is loosened up, the carrier basically just stays open. It's very, very easy to get water bottles in and out of this, but they also aren't going to fall if you use the cordage. Now, you can actually fit a one liter bottle in the smaller of the two pouches. Of course, the bottle will stick out a bit, but that is where this cordage comes in handy once again, because you can simply pull it over the top of the bottle for retention, and then just pop it off when you're ready to get a drink. Chicken Tramper has a net mesh on the front and X-Pack on the back, which is nice because if something spills, you're not going to be putting that right up against your strap and soaking it into your backpack strap or yourself. And yet it is also nice and airy on the front so that it can dry off the bottle while you're hiking. Again, on the back, you have dual S-clips and an adjustable strap. So this is going to fit on practically any kind of backpack shoulder strap. Now the large water bottle sleeve comes in at 1.6 ounces. The 0.7 liter water bottle sleeve comes in at 1.4 ounces. Now the Justin's UL comes in at 0.6 ounces and the Waymark at 0.8, so they are quite a bit lighter. However, I think that Chicken Tramper beats out the other two as far as ease of installation, ease of use, and retention. So it just depends on whether or not that one ounce is really important to you. All right, finally that brings us to the fanny packs. If you are using a backpack and you want a bigger pocket pouch on the front of you than maybe those little hip belt pockets that never seem to be big enough to carry what you want, you might look at simply adding a fanny pack to your system. Now the way Chicken Tramper built these, you've got a nice mesh foam pad on the back of the fanny pack, and you've got the clips, which will actually attach to some backpacks if they use the same size. If they don't, you could probably replace these and actually make this part of your hip belt system. Now this right here is the big boy. This is a four liter fanny pack. It is pretty substantial. As you can see, I got a ton of stuff in this pack, and yet even packed up like this, it rode very comfortably. I wasn't getting that smack that you get sometimes with some packs, and I think that's because the way the straps are attached, it really gives you good retention up against your body so that the pack isn't bouncing around while you're walking. The pack is made of X-Pack. You've got a seam sealed zipper, so this is going to be pretty water resistant. The four liter and the two and a half liter both have some stretch mesh pockets on the inside for organization. The rest is just a big open pouch. The one liter does have a mesh pocket, but it is a single pocket that goes all the way across the back. And notice that even the smallest of these packs still has the nice mesh cushion. These are very comfortable fanny packs to wear, front or back. I like the fact that they are weather resistant. I like the fact that even on the small one, they have the wide webbing that keeps the pack very secure against your body while you're walking. The four liter comes in at 4.6 ounces. The two and a half liter comes in at 4.1 ounces. And the one liter is a mere 2.4 ounces. And again, all of these come in custom colors, so you can really dial these in and make them your own. Well, there you go. That is pretty much every Chicken Tramper accessory that you can get for backpacking. If you are interested in any of this gear, it will help the channel out if you use the links in the description below. I appreciate you very much for watching my videos. Until next time, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim. Take it easy.